Hello everyone, welcome to Genomics Lab. In this video, we are going to see about de novo motif search using MemeShoot. There are number of tools used for de novo motif search. Out of this, Meme is one of the popular and stable tool. It can do with the bunch of sequences like 10, 50, 100 or even 1000 number of sequences and try to find out the common motifs present among the sequences. Meme, it is a suited program which includes a variety of different things like TomTom -tom, which is used to compare motifs, Glam discovers novel gapped motifs, then Mast which, which is used to search for alignment, then MCAST search sequences for cluster of matches. On the left side we can provide with the number of search options like motif discovery, motif enrichment, motif scanning, motif comparison, gene regulation, etc. I am going to click the meme option. This is the home page of the meme which identify the Dino motif present among the sequences. There are the bunch of options here. In motif discovery mode, we can provide with the three different options like classic mode, discriminative mode and differential enrichment mode. In sequence alphabet, we can choose either DNA or NA protein or custom option. Then input sequence format. In this, we have to copy paste the sequences or else we can choose the file options, whatever we want. In the next option, number of motives, we can proceed with how many number of motives we want to know. In this, I am going to give 5 for searching motives in the sequences. This is our input file. All the sequences which begin with the first format. I will select all those sequences, copy and paste it in the given box. Then I am going to submit the sequences. This will going to take some time. This is the primary result page and this will have the job details like how many number of sequences we give and its base pair length and it also shows the how many number of motives we want to find. This is the output page for the given sequences. Here we have that put in different formats like HTML format, XML format, text format and masked output format etc. One of the thing is we can always go back and look out what parameters we use. Look at this line. This will show the specific parameter we use. Like we are proceed with the DNA sequences. And we can try to find out 5 different motifs with minimum width of 6 and the maximum width of 50. This is output HTML format. In this it will give the detailed information about each of the motifs. It shows the logo of each of the motifs, E value, size, width and so on. This is logo of the each of the 5 different motifs. Then the motif locations. It shows the p value and its distribution of motifs in the given sequences. This is the distribution of each of the motifs in the given sequences. This shows the distribution of motifs of the set of 15 sequences. In 
in input and settings it shows the common information about the sequences whether it is dna rna or protein then the sequence count and the total size of the sequences below that it also shows the frequencies of purine and pyrimidines and these are the common information about the sequences next we are going to see the xml format of the given sequences this is the overall xml format result page for the given set of 15 sequences then we can go for the text output this is the text output of the meme page and it has all the information available in the html format this is the overall text output thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video will be useful for us to understand the concept about meme shoot thank you for all